Y'all, Mita is just spilling the tea, spilling the tea, spilling the tea. I'm like this close to believing like that she might know a little something, something or at least what she talking about may not be too far-fetched, but you really just don't know. Like, first off, y'all, what is going on? Happy Monday. Welcome back to another recap with your girl. Thanks for spending one of your weekly nights here with me, okay? And if you're a new, thank you for checking your girl out. Stick around for a little bit. Watch this video. Watch a couple of other videos. See if you like it, girl. And you already know what to do. So as you can see in the title, we're back doing another recap on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, episode two, season 10,001, all that. You already know. So... Mita's spilling the tea, y'all. Mita is spilling the tea. So, Shekana basically is like, you know what? I gotta take this girl to the side and have a conversation with her. I don't know her. She could be lying. Like, at least somebody is an advocate for Jock. Just a little bit. She like, she could be lying. There's a lot of females out here lying on Jock. But are they? And come on now, y'all know the Libra in me. And I know I'm all for giving it up, giving somebody the benefit of the doubt. But you know what? I think I just need to really just start sticking to it, sticking to it, sticking to it, sticking to it, sticking to it. I just need to start sticking it to them at this point and sticking to it at that. If you can get what I'm saying. Did you get that? Even if you didn't, it's okay. It made sense to me. So, y'all, so basically, Mita is basically saying that she is the girl that got away. But what, first off, how are you the girl that got away if he can continue to still come back to you? Now, at the same time, it sounds like, you know, she clearly was in more committed relationships, like she had gotten married. and But basically, at the same time, it sounds like their relationship was never, well, wasn't always an official relationship. Like, like she said, she would, you know, he was basically somebody that she would come back to. He was probably somebody, you know, she was somebody, he was somebody that she would go back to when whatever, whatever, and probably vice versa, you know, for Jock. So it sounds like they just had like a situation ship. They had just been messing around over the years on and off for a very long time. But even still, if you're in a committed, if you're committing yourself to relationship with one person, you're still messing around with this girl, like there's still a wrong in the situation. But I'm just saying in regards to where what their status actually was, because that's what I wanted to know. Like what were y'all? Like are you really saying like y'all were really like together together? Or are y'all just like kicking it? Because y'all like y'all have this history, y'all have whatever. So right. You know you always just got that possibly, you know, got that one that you always go back to, whatever, whatever. That's what it sounds like. But you know, she's boosting herself you know basically saying that she turned him into the sapiosexual that he is and i guess basically you know basically she's the reason why he is so sexually attracted and uh basically to boss women and women that are about you know their stuff and on their shit or whatever or whatnot and that basically like you know she will always love him he will always love her like they will always basically like have their bond and obviously respectfully she's not going to the wedding or whatever or whatnot but <sighs> all right where am i at with it where am i at with it? where you at with it ashley um i believe the girl at this point because jock clearly like his like she said his appetite for women is clearly like out there and for even um, Cena to say that she's hearing the rumors, that she hears things like sometimes things are rumors at the same time some things are true. It's 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 kind of like, like okay, I'm not going to sit here and believe like every single girl that claims that I've slept with him, slept with him but I know he didn't probably slept with a lot of some of them girls. Like You get what I'm saying? Like So it's not too far-fetched. So getting on to Cena so Dropping on that whole bomb, I knew something was up. I was sitting here like, why 
was, you know, what was the issue there? What was really going on? And Jack admitted last week that he had not been, you know, very communicative and whatever, whatever, whatever. He ain't never even tell that girl that he was getting married. And then here come Kendra asking through DM, can you, can the daughter be flower girls in the wedding? I, the twins, that's right, because he got twins with Cena. And I was like, You ain't, you got so much going on that you couldn't take a second to tell her that you were getting married. And it's, and then I'm sitting here like, okay, Kendra, what were you sitting here like, 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 like what were you doing? Now, see, this is how I think it is what it was. Because now thinking about it, weren't they arguing in the beginning about basically like him not you know, doing a part or I, cause I could be very well getting this mixed up with something else. So let me know. Cause I very well could be getting this wrong y'all. I feel like last week they were arguing about like him not being on top of stuff, or maybe that's what she was just talking about him not being on top of stuff. And so basically she decided to take the initiative. You took the initiative knowing that he did not tell Cena that Y'all were getting married or you took the initiative thinking that he at least told her? Because either way, I'm kind of with Carly at this point. Like, it's not your place. You and Cena don't even have that type of relationship like that. Like, you should have left that to him and kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Or, like, I, I, I don't know. But her, I get her wanting to take initiative because time was, you know, a dwindling, dwindling, a dwindling. But stay on top of him about that. Like, I, yeah, I, I definitely think she pushed. I definitely understand now why Cena was so upset and so pissed off. And, you know, and then now, and then after all that, you know, they basically have a planned trip on basically the weekend or like the day of their wedding or whatever, whatnot. And so, you know, obviously he's expecting her, you know, to change her mind and, you know, whatever. And I think we as moms or whatever or whatnot, or I can't say we as moms, I'll mainly speak for myself. I have a, I sacrifice my stuff and what I got going on just to accommodate my children's fathers, especially Jada's dad. Jada's dad will, you know, will be quick to, you know, spring something up, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then I'm like, okay, I have this going on. And then it's like, all right, well, I guess I just got to, you know, I got to deal with it. I got to figure it out. Yeah, we got to start letting them and stop over, what's, what's the word I'm basically trying to use? You know, sacrificing, not, not exactly sacrificing ourselves, but basically, you know, putting our stuff on the line, putting our stuff off so that they can successfully do what it all is or do what it is that they want to do. Because I'm talking about gosh. And matter of fact, I can't even say it's just day to stack because it's, it's both of them. It's, it's both. It's both. So... It's, I, I, I saw that because, and, and it was crazy because what it was, y'all, that was so crazy was is in the moment, I wanted her to sit here and be like, you know, I will find this obviously, like obviously on a note, you don't want your, you know, she don't want their kids to not be in that man's wedding. And so at the same time, she got something going on too. And so that's what I'm thinking as well. I'm like, you know, just, just let him, you know, do your thing. Let him get the girls, slide the girls out, you know, whatever, whatever is necessary. And then on the flip side, I'm sitting there like, but why? Why should she do that, Ashley? Because you do it all the time. Because you, da, 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 da. like, y'all. <sighs> It was like a, it was like a real, like a low key learning lesson, like sitting here, like right back in my face or whatever, whatnot. So it would, but it was a learning lesson, but at the same time, it was just like, just a relatable, just like at the same time, like situation. Cause I don't really know what the end of the day, what she's going to do. But at the same time, I guess it was a learning lesson for me because I was literally putting my set, putting, you know, trying to think for her, trying to basically convince her of why you know like you should do it do it do it do it and i'll be sitting here like and i'm sitting here like well but why should he when and then i don't even question my well no i do i do i'll be sitting here like are you really gonna sit here and blah 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 y'all so 
running on by my own personal little stuff or whatever or whatnot. So fast forward, Cena and Miss Kali Rae end up meeting up because crazy or not, like they have a good relationship or whatever or whatnot. And <coughs> hearing, you know, um, Cena trip about, you know, Carly, you know, showing up at his bachelor party because let's be honest, like if Kendra knew that Carly was there, no matter how innocent, you know, it was, as, you know, Kirk tried to say, you know, of her like being, you know, like clothed at the end of the day, the history, the, you know, drama starting that Carly starts like, that was definitely to cause some ruckus and then hell she's not even invited to the wedding so and i mean in jock's defense he didn't know that carly was going to be you know at that bachelor party but it was still a matter of why would your people even allow that to be even be set up like that like either way like jock was still just would not be ever be able to live that down oh but it's gonna come out now it's gonna come out now so like nobody and uh, nobody thinks again still that jock you know is ready cena doesn't feel like you know he's happy like i said you know she's heard you know the rumors you know and obviously telling carly you know about him just on her about them you know getting married and one of the girls in the wedding like and then they're literally days away from the wedding stressing out about the wedding we're seeing her get like her dress fitting going on and then mind you jock had a already booked show and he's literally not coming back until the day of the wedding the morning of the wedding and then check the previews and it's already looking like he's possibly going to be late it's obviously going to happen. We've seen the previous. It's obviously going to happen. Um, I don't think the bomb dropper. I don't think the situation with, you know, uh, Mita or anybody else is going to come out at the wedding. I don't think it's going to come out then. It's going to come out after they get married. I don't, it's not going to come out then, y'all. But he's definitely probably like something is definitely like going to... And Kristen gets like, I could not have even been mad at Jock. I don't even, at the same time, while I was thinking in the back of my head that he was like probably just pushing off or whatever for a reason, but uh, that was really not genuine, basically. But I like, I really felt him feeling like, like, hey, maybe let's just. You know, if we need to push this off for a little bit, like whatever, whatever. And it, I, I'm sitting here like the Kendra, like, it really makes me wonder, like, are you put really pushing this, pushing this, pushing this, pushing this because you know he out here in these streets? Or like you said, you're just ready to, you know, to be, you know, a wife, his, his you know, his wife, you know, be married, you know, whatever like y'all have already been engaged already for so long or whatever or whatnot because if everybody hears this stuff about jock what's kendra doing where's kendra's head at like i'm all for a girl who wants to you know stick by their man and not you know fall into the always the gossip and the he say she say and but I don't know they really make it seem like like Jock is really really out here like really out here like that so that's I don't know y'all but Kendra ain't dumb she's a lawyer she cannot she's not this dumb so it I, <sighs> I'm going to just leave it at that. She's not this dumb. She's not this dumb. She ain't dumb at all. She's a whole lawyer out here in these streets, y'all. She's not dumb at all. And if she really wanted to do the, re like, get the evidence, do the research that she wanted to, to get the proof, I feel like she very well could. So, I don't think, I don't think it's falling on deaf ears. What is she going to do about it necessarily? Nothing. I think she's going to marry Jock. I think that's what it's going to be. She's going to marry him. And in that way, it may, maybe it could be, be be like the other wife. That other wife who was like, who was like boasting, the first wife, who was like boasting, at the end of the day, I'm the wife. And da-da-da-da-da. Well, you're definitely not the wife anymore. Like, 
you being the wife did really didn't even mean anything to jock all the moving and screwing and like all that that he was doing. So, Roman DC's is back uh, full time with Yandy and Mendeecees, and I'm definitely ready to get into that and you know i ain't even gonna stay on that too long y'all but i just want to make mention to that because as well you know i know y'all seen the previews i seen the previews of them having it out you know with little mendici's mom and her you know yandy saying that both of them you know her and you know mendici should be thanking her you know for the part that she played and helping to raise them like it they is like i'd be <laughs> Why do I always see like like Yandy is also just like how I was with Malaysia on basketball wise, like Yandy is that to me too. How everybody like see Yandy as like the bad guy and I just see Yandy like do no wrong. <laughs> like I, I just see her do no wrong or whatever, whatnot. So that's where I'm at. Like with Yandy, y'all. Just so we can go ahead and get a get a jump on it now, you know. But I don't know. Was she right? I mean, I know she's definitely obviously have played a big part. Is she right to say that? I don't know if I necessarily, you know, agree. Well, right. It's not your child. But at the same time, you were they even married? They were all that stuff. They weren't married. They weren't married. But you chose to stick, you know, with this man. So you chose to stick with what, what comes with it, whether you're going to thank you or not. Like... I don't know. I think that's where, you know, I'm at with it. Um, what's going on? Um, Spice is, you know, getting ready, you know, getting herself, you know, out there doing her thing, you know, so that, you know, she's really pumping to get, you know, nominated for this Grammy. You know, what else is going on? Oh, like... A baby girl, uh, Rashida, you know, we get into like some family stuff with them. It's kind of like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm kind of like, you know, what, where, 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 where is this coming from? Like, Rashida, let me find out, like, y'all need a storyline because, like, you know, Rashida's basically like her, like, Rashida's mom comes in, you know, talking about, you know, basically her trying to get rekindling back the relationship with her dad and him coming to visit and that basically doesn't even get far because they have a phone conversation you know and that jank you know just goes you know left and you know i had a father in my life and it, it, it and i have if we want to put trauma if we want to use if we want to use that word there's so many words but i'll, I'll just say issues that are unresolved because of things that happened you know and you know our relationship and I definitely just can understand the the part of I'm the child here like you're the adult and then I don't want to continue to have a conversation if you're not just going to at least take accountability for the actions that you played or did not play out and how things like happened like it it just got ugly and you know i definitely feel you know kirk for you know wanting to you know take her you know take her aside and only just give her a chance you know to you know breathe and relax from that because you know that you know really affected her or whatever or whatnot and when you i can only imagine what that can be like because i don't even want to sit here and speak like i do because i don't so i definitely want to choose my words wisely but you know i can only imagine you know that's so why i say i had that relationship you know and you know when things were always perfect and there was definitely some times where um you know he seemed absent but to not have it at all and i think she was talking about like she had only like seen him five times while growing up like that's you know and uh, it's just passion and it fuel like an anger as well, you know, behind that because you want to fix it. And then <laughs> you literally and, and Kirk just hit it right on the nail. Like you're either it's it's literally just like this and it's like this going forward with anybody that we deal with, whether it's, you know, a family member, immediate, far relationships, friends or, you know, uh, intimately, you know, whatever, like. 
it, you're either going to take that person as they are or you're going to set those boundaries and decide that, you know, maybe this is somebody that I can't, you know, that I can only deal with on this type of level or I just can't deal with at all. You, you know that, that the person for who they are, believe them for who they are and decide whether that's something that you can deal with and you're going to allow that because you're going to allow that person to be who they are because that's all that they've shown you so you can deal with that person as they are or you can't they don't harper for the things that they have done they have not done because a lot of times they weren't even a lot of times given the tools to and that's why they can't deal with you in that aspect because they didn't have the tools to, you know, nobody gave them the tools, you know, to deal in that aspect. So, Kirk, again, you know, no, I always say, like, sometimes they be giving, like, some, you know, some good little gems in here or whatever. Like, they be, you know, some of these, you know, castmates be having a little wisdom here. Like, like they be a little bit smart. So, what y'all drinking on? What y'all drinking on tonight? Have some good old wine. These little oak leaves, little... Jenks that I from Walmart that began at Walmart. Good and easy on the dollar. Like, come on now. So let's see what else we got going on, y'all. Y'all, I'm actually like really, you know, I'm liking Rennie Rucci. Like, I think she's real cute. I think you know she's real chill. Like, I like her vibe. Like, I just feel like like she is not like just real hyped up and just like like i don't know i just feel like a lot of these you know new people that come on like i don't know like it's just like you know they like like I, like definitely i want you to give the energy but like you don't have to like force it or just like it like be over the top or just too much i don't know Rini root is just you know she's cute she's chill she's just like you know she just seems like a whole vibe but at the same time who was Sierra to have a plus one at somebody's bridal shower? Like, is that etiquette? Is there etiquette in that? I don't know, y'all. Like, I, 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 for what I think I'm still for one, just still trying to roll over the fact that Sierra's in this wedding. Okay. And then I'm sitting here like, so you decide to bring like it, it really looked like an intimate bridal party like it almost looked like it was just like maybe like her wedding party guests her wedding party i don't know why what made me think that it was just her wedding party but either way i don't know yanny showing up that definitely helped to kind of like like smooth things like oh okay so you know she didn't you know there was other people it's not just her bridal party bridal party but I don't know. I just did not feel like that was like proper for Sierra to bring a plus one. You know, nonetheless, Kendra was cool with it. She seemed, you know, the cool with it or whatever. But of course, Sierra was trying to figure out like what was the role that she was going to play in regards to, you know, telling Kendra, you know, or not. Because definitely opening that door was definitely going to shake the table if in the words of Kay Michelle it was definitely going to you know cause you know some stuff she chose not to and all at the end of the day is I definitely think that nobody that was at that table has that relationship with Kendra like that. I know like they're all cool, you know, whatever, whatever. But again, Kendra is new, technically kind of new to the group because, you know, she's Jock's latest flavor or whatever, whatever. Like she wasn't on this show before. Nobody knew Kendra, you know, on before. So I don't know nobody that's really made that relationship with Kendra like that, even since her being on the show that I feel like that person should be the one to tell her. Any everybody else that's sitting at that table, I like it ain't their place. It sucks because it's going around this many people, but yeah, I I and hey, I'm like with Sierra. I would want to know too. I would want to know somebody better tip me off something. So I'm just saying it now out loud that I would want to know. But on that side, as far as like this whole Kendra thing, yeah. If somebody was to tell her, who's going to tell her? She ain't going to believe Carly Red. Maybe Mita need to just come out and say it. 
um, at this point, I guess maybe Sierra might be the best clothes just to say it because I think in the wedding party, possibly Sierra's the only one kind of closest to this side of their life, you know, the whole love and hip hop, you know, life or whatever, whatnot. Like, this is just a mess. Like, this is just a mess. Like, I read, I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and just get the wedding on over with. I'm ready to get the whole wedding on over with, y'all. But I ain't even going to hold, y'all. I ain't even going to hold any more longer on here. I think that's, you know, about my little two cents, how I felt about this episode this week, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all leave me some love. Drop me some likes. Give me five. We can get five likes. We on some good money. It's best if you made it this far. Give me a like and drop some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on this episode, what you felt about it, what you think is going to be happening next week. And as always, peace, y'all. See y'all next time.